Hi, it's been a while since I don't cover anything related to cybersecurity or hacking more precisely. So in this video, I decided to show you how to install the Juice Shop uh, web application. Uh, it is a web application that you can use to test your hacking skills uh, for things like uh, broken authentication, how to bypass authentication, how to perform uh, cross-site scripting attacks. Uh, so for those who are uh, starting or playing with hacking, so this is a good tool to use. I previously I, I did a video covering uh, this uh, application uh, on Try Hack Me. So now uh, I decided to cover how to install it uh, on your own VM. And I'm going to show how to install it using Kali Linux. So you can download Kali for VirtualBox and install immediately this application. Okay. So I just installed Kali and let's install the Juice Shop. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to share this on the link description. So we're going to install using the prompt. So first I want to, I can just can paste this. So the default password for uh, Kali is Kali Kali uh, for fresh installations. And now this is going to take a while, as you can see in the progress bar. So once it finished, we're going to continue. Okay, the installation is completed. So now let's start the application by typing juice shop h. Oh, so it must be run as root. Okay, so I'm going to type sudo because I already have uh, typed the sudo credential. So we want to see the state to be active and running and now it's going to start the the browser uh, on this address so localhost 42000 so firefox is already running okay no problem so if you get this error this is because i have a browser open so i'm just going to manually copy this into my browser and open okay you can see uh, the application was installed successfully and it's running and you can uh, test uh, your hacking skills on this application such as uh, let's bypass uh, the authentication for instance if we type or one one and let's just bypass uh, the authentication so uh, if you're not familiar with this application, essentially uh, you can test uh, hacking skills and there are certain uh, vulnerabilities in this application and your role is to identify uh, all of them. And there are different levels. So this one was one of the vulnerabilities in this application. And there are others such as uh, the, let's see, administration panel okay uh, so you can see for any uh, vulnerability that I discover so this is a challenge that I just solved okay and for instance if I delete customer feedback so this is another challenge that I just solved and there are other more uh, hidden challenges so uh, if you want to know which challenges exist or which ones you're solving uh, there is a hidden page and finding this page it's also a challenge but that's going to be my spoiler here uh, so if we go to uh, I believe that's score bold Let's see, no, that's not it. So probably, let me see, scoreboard. Yeah, so that's the, the hidden page, okay? And so here you'll be able to see 
um, which vulnerabilities are uh, exist and which ones uh, you are solving and they have here the level of difficulty okay according to the name of the vulnerability how hard it is and you have some explanation uh, on related to the type of vulnerability okay so you can explore this and one thing that i want to mention is that it will automatically save uh your it's going to track your progress so if you don't want it to track your progress so then you have to uh delete the cookies every time you close uh, the browser uh but if you want to track your progress then you should save the cookies in your browser so that when you close uh it will maintain uh your progress okay so this is a very simple uh but very good application to test uh it's been a while since i don't use it so i just want to uh show this to you and in case you are also uh taking this path into cybersecurity, offensive cybersecurity, so you can add these two to your resources okay and if you want you can even use it as a lab environment before attempting the try hack me room so let's see at some of the challenges in try hack me uh, so let's see exploration no that's not the one so let's see someone that can be easily uh, replicated so this is a dom attack so let's copy this and paste into the search bar so let's go back to main page and paste okay and we got one more uh, challenge solved and you see for any for every challenge that you perform you get uh, a message saying that okay you successfully solved one more challenge so you can even use it before doing this one uh, on try hacking or just to practice your hacking skills okay so this is it guys i hope you found this video useful and uh, until the next time take care